Despite all the accusations that have been thrown at the DPRK for supposedly using slave labor, there has been slave labor found on the Korean Peninsula, in the South, on the capitalist side. And not only that, it is shown that it has been fairly common in the rural areas in the remote islands where a lot of slave labor, mostly disabled people, have been used to collect the salt that grows in the mudflats. According to reports, two-thirds of South Korea's sea salt is produced at more than 850 salt farms on dozens of islands in Sinan County, including Sinai Island, where half of the 2,200 residents work in the industry. Workers spend grueling days managing a complex network of waterway, hoses, and storage areas. Kim Song Baek is the name of a man who managed to escape one of these camps. Now he did it half blind with another individual and they made it to uh, a town where they tried to seek help. Unfortunately they came across the son of a convenience store owner who proceeded to beat them and then hand them back over to their slave master. Now more than five times in the last decade, revelations have come out about the use of slave labor, especially disabled people. According to numerous investigations, court documents, statements by police, eyewitnesses, people who have escaped, and even some government officials. Yet despite all of that, literal proof of their existence, they still continue to operate. The government of South Korea defends these slave labor camps by refusing to prosecute those who commit the crimes. Although 50 island farm owners and regional job brokers were indicted, national police say no local police or officials will face punishment. Despite multiple interviews showing some who knew about the slaves and even stopped escape attempts. Isn't this kind of reminiscent of the supposed forced labor camps, of slave labor that exists in the DPRK where supposedly the government is in on keeping these people there and other people rat other, other people out in order to keep them in such bondage? Yeah. And yet here we have a perfectly real government corruption allowing this slavery in the name of capital to take place in the South so that companies, many of them American, given that South Korea is a, an, an American colony, cheap salt. Yet the reality of the situation in the North is that these camps are actually prisons, meaning you get convicted of a crime and you go there and you stay there for a particular amount of time and then you leave. And this is not slave labor. This is rehabilitative labor. There's actually a difference. And despite claims by various anti-DPRK sources, the disabled are not killed as being somehow unworthy of life or something like that. Now, international aid organizations that work with the disabled have proven time and time again that no such thing takes place. Yet here we see in the capitalist South, people who are disabled being used as slave labor. Let this show a real difference between what goes on in the DPRK and what goes on in the ROK. And that maybe when you hear these fantastic wild stories that have nothing to back them up, you'll remember something about these stories which have everything backing them up. And once again, we're left with a question mark as to why the UN and human rights agencies just seem to be completely silent on this issue. They seem to be just looking the other way when capitalism has provable slaves and provable mistreatment of the disabled. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, then head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can go to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media.